Hi everybody, thank you very much for signing up in the Study Metro portal. In this academy, we are going to learn how to use the Study Metro portal and let you know about the, what are the advantages are there. So it's Abhishek here with the Study Metro Academy and I hope you're having a great day today. We are going to go over with the account set today in our first session and you can see in account when you click on the icon, you can see the profile staff and my settings so we will cover in the first lesson a couple of the those things after you complete this lesson you will be able to answer the following questions how i can entirely set up my workplace how you can set up this portal how you do, how do you edit my profile we will let you know how you can edit your profile and how to change the email id and the phone number how to find the study metro counselors the general setup of the account and how to how to add the staff member so let me just uh, start one by one. So when you log into the portal, you see, you come on the home screen. You have to click on this icon to see your profile. So when you see, uh, when you click on the profile, the profile will, window will be open. Here you can add your photo. Here you can mention uh, your information like uh, this is a test account. So here you can edit the things according to use, so like what is the name, what is your title, your username, email ID. So by default, uh, whenever you sign up on the portal, your username and the email ID will remain the same and um, the password will be uh, whatever you set up. So here um, in the profile, if you want, you can edit a couple of those things and uh, regarding yourself, like what you are, so you can mention about your LinkedIn, either your profile ID or a couple of the good words about yourself. Once you set up this, uh, you can see the all the counselors uh, details. So will assign automatically the manager uh, who will be uh, your first point of contact person uh, with the study metro. So this manager uh, will be um, uh, giving you the all the information about uh, your student status, your training, your um, management of your commissions and everything. So he is the person who will take care of everything. So you will assign a one manager. Then we have a counselor. You can see the counselor's name, like for the UK, USA, Canada, and all. And then you can see their numbers also, or their email ID also. So you can reach them either over the email, or we will educate you how you can tag them. So uh, we, we will let you know how to tag them in our upcoming uh, lessons also. But uh, you can find the counselor's information. Then there is option for new widget. The widget is like um, if you want uh, to have the search widget, what we have in the study metro portal, uh, you can copy this code and you can paste it in your uh, in your uh, website also, so that you do not have to come to the study metro portal. You can do the searching in your portal itself. So that again, the, your manager can help you, or otherwise you will get the email uh, in some time from us that how you can add the widgets in your website. So this is a very uh, simple thing here on the profile. There is a feed option, there's a cases option. Again, I will discuss you in my uh, upcoming lesson, how you can uh, do the chatter or how you can read the case. But the first uh, more important thing is that how you add your staff, because this is your profile which you have signed up, but now you have a couple of counselors who are working under you. So there is options we have given is a staff. In the staff, um, uh, what you can do that you can, um, uh, create the as many as, as to uh, as many as counselors you want so you can just provide their uh, name let's say a test or anything their email id okay just give anything um, their email id and all and then always provide the nickname uh, nickname is very important uh, for us and sometimes unique nickname is it should be unique it should be not the same so try to give whatever the first name and whatever the last name dot your company name or something so that you know it, it, it should be the unique uh, uh, so it will not give you the error and there will be a rule so we have three different rules uh, i'll tell you is that if you want to show them if you do not want to show them any commissions then you just select the second one if you want to show them the commissions like uh, if they want to see the commissions of all the universities you can click the first option or if he is your sub agent or might be he's working as a freelancer with you so you can provide in the third as a sub agent uh, category and then you can click the next and it will generate the uh, 
it will generate the uh, uh, one portal access uh, to him also and uh, he can also log in with the portal and uh, from the back end we will uh, you know map all your users with your account so that you can see uh, if there if your staff is adding the students or applications you can see them um, uh, in your dashboard itself so we will let you know in upcoming session hope you like this the first lesson and uh, we are having a back to back the other session also which you can see in your next page